So I have an artist I've been working with for a few years who is primarily a pianist and she has recorded a bunch of ambient piano pieces um, inspired by, you know, the Wyndham Hill type George Winston um, type of sound. And what we're doing is uh, she's recording at home on Logic and then we're transferring, uh, uh, she's sending me the Logic projects and she's recording using the stock Steinway Grand Piano in Logic, which is pretty good. And then we're opening it here and we're replacing the virtual instrument with Synthology's Ivory Three German D piano. And uh, Synthology released this not that long ago. Um, and it was a big step up in in the virtual instrument sample technology. Uh, the, the biggest uh, thing I feel like that they added was something I believe they're calling dy like uh, dynamic velocity, where the uh, earlier uh, the Ivory II pianos and so on uh, had excellent uh, velocity switching, um, and I believe they had something along the lines of you know twenty different samples per note. Uh, uh, that I could be thinking of a different package, but but I believe that's what they had. The new engine that they're using um the dynamic velocity uh you can go look on their website and read what they say about it but i i, I believe i saw somewhere that if th that if they were to try to measure it in the same way it would come out to something like six thousand levels of velocity per note uh the bottom line is that it's 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 a smooth uh almost like not no longer switching um method of playing and i have to say I really, I feel it and I hear it in the software. Um, the new Ivory 3 player will still play the Ivory 2 sample packages, um, but you know, you just simply select the Ivory 3 uh, German D in the presets and then you get the new, you know, the, the, the whole new experience, um, which is also uh, MIDI 2.0 and other things. Um, and you have to obviously have a compatible keyboard for that as well if you want MIDI 2.0. Um, but uh, it's really, uh, it's a huge step up. Uh, the multi-miking is done really well and the whole interface is new and and, um, and there's just so many ways to tweak, you know, which there were in Ivory 2 as well, but it's just laid out better. So I'm gonna show you, uh, here's a sample of um, this artist's uh, piano using just the stock Steinway in Logic. So, I'm sorry, this is using the iPhone mic. And to my ear, it's pretty good. Um, you know, they sort of take advantage of a muted attack to not have to recreate, you know, a stronger attack. And personally, like, I hear some modulation in the samples uh, that takes me away from the realism. And then the problem that there's always been with sampled pianos is uh, sympathetic string resonance. Uh, because it's so hard, you know, there's so many variables, like all the different strengths that you hit a note um, and how that ripples out to the strings around it. I mean, that's always been the hardest thing to recreate in sample pianos. Um, so, listen a little more. try to change it over as fast as I possibly can. I know I should have had it on a separate track so I could just switch it over. But here we go. Uh, maybe next tracks. Synthology. I 
save, paste that. Great. So now what you can see. So it has these different microphones. Let me play. adjustment for me but the problems I had with the logic piano are gone like the attack is sharper but true and I'm not hearing that modulation in the notes so right now these dots are microphones that you can turn on and off it's like a far ambient Right, and they're here in the mixer, so you can also control their levels. That's the synth, we don't want that. Um, see them turning on there. And you can, so like that's the far ambient mic is here. editing capability you can yeah adjustments these are overall general adjustments to like the resonance and the soundboard there's different soundboards you can select clean extra resonant upright soundboards um, velocity dynamics softer louder these are very general controls they're kind of like quick controls there's more specific character controls here, timbre, um, release, hammer strength, shimmer, stereo width. Uh, you can have audience perspective or performer perspective. That was the same from Ivory 2. Full stick, half stick, short stick. Uh, and then whether you use release samples or not, I can't imagine why you wouldn't, but... And then... You can... Customize the velocity to different, you know, power. Right now it's a mild. Yeah, this is sort of the overall dynamics of the velocity, so you can limit it. You can say, like, not have it going lower than a certain amount. Right now it's wide open. maximum down a little bit and then how many voices you want to assign so right now this is at 200 you can make it even higher high quality fast this takes up this can take up a lot of CPU I'm running an M1 studio max with 10 cores and it's taking up you know a quarter to a third of my CPU right here just on the piano alone. Um, but it's worth it, you get the sound. And you scroll down here, and you can get very specific about the pedal noise, tuning, the microphones. And then mixing desk, they call it a mixing desk of a mixing desk but <laughs> there's EQ built in there's all kinds of things um, but it's really beautiful so you know it's just a great thing that somebody can do their work at home on the stock piano and in two seconds we can switch it out for this really gorgeous piano and then um 
export it, you know, as is, or add more instruments or whatever we need to do. But for anyone else that's doing piano recording at home, um, just so you know, this is a service that I can offer, and it's pretty quick and it's pretty easy. You know, if your project only has MIDI, then it's tiny, and you know you can email multiple projects in one email because they don't take up any room. And uh, I can run it through this piano and capture it as audio um, and send it back. So that's a uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> so that's something to keep in mind that I can offer that as a service. All right, take care, everyone. And happy piano playing.